good morning and happy Memorial Day. It is beautiful outside, but I have a headache and the sun is killing my head. Oh, this is the only day I have to work this week, which is really nice. We have, um, we have, well, I have one work day and then we have um, our practicum this week, which is basically sort of like a camp um, for homeschoolers. And so I will be getting some tutor training uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or I think, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then um, Jacob and Mason will be doing some educational camps. Um, one of them, Jacob is doing a writing camp and then Mason will just be doing like a play camp. So um, it should be fun for everyone and um, I'm looking forward to it because this will be my first practicum. I've never been a part of a practicum before. So I am excited about it. Um, yeah, I wish I was off work today, but that's all right. This is one of the only days that I can work this week. Um, but it would be nice to be laying out by the pool this week or today anyway, um, or on the lake. That sounds really good. <laughs> so I debated on whether or not to talk about this, but I just feel like transparency is, you know, important. And yeah, I just wanted to, I don't know, share my heart. So in a marriage, you know, there is bound to be moments and times when you need to talk to each other about things that aren't really fun to talk about or when conflict comes up and um, you know, you have to know how to handle that. You have to know how to deal with it. So yesterday there was some, I wouldn't say conflict, but there was last night in particular when we got home, my husband and I just had, you know, one of those conversations between each other and yeah, I don't know. Like when I feel like, if I feel like, you know, something hurts my feelings, like I just, I don't know. I either number one, get mad if he says something that you know hurts my feelings I either get mad about it and shut down I don't want to talk about it anymore or it like crushes my feelings and I cry and and it's sad like I just feel like I don't handle it very well I don't handle it well because I, I care so much about what he thinks and our marriage and so every little thing like if I feel like I'm doing something that hurts his feelings or if I need to improve in an area I guess I don't know I just I definitely could use some help in that area <laughs> because there's always gonna be things that we can improve on there's always gonna be times in our marriage that you know there's gonna be things that we need to talk to each other about and I don't know I just don't do very well with that I don't know I don't think that um, I don't know I just feel like I don't handle like conflict resolution I guess talking about things well my go-to is I shut down I just I refuse to talk and or you know not even if I don't refuse to even if I do talk I just get super emotional just I will continue to talk and try to work it out but I, it just like hurts my feelings so bad that I just cry and I don't want to be that way you know but I just don't know how else to handle it and I guess I was just gonna ask you guys, you know, how do you handle conflict in your marriage? Or not even conflict, like last night wasn't even conflict. It was just, you know, a discussion where we were just talking about things and, you know, things, ways that we could improve, you know, on certain areas in our life. And if I feel like I'm failing in an area or not doing, you know, as good as I should or want to be, it's just a hard pill to swallow, you know? Like, the truth is hard to talk about. Or or not even, um, like, you may not have even known that it was something that you were doing or were not doing or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I hope this video isn't completely ridiculous. <laughs> I just wanted to basically, you know, see what you guys what, what were your thoughts? What are your thoughts? You know, I just want to get down on a really real level and just like bottom line, you know, everybody, everybody has conflict in their marriage and everybody has issues that they have to talk about. So how do you guys handle that? Do you like shut down 
does it like crush your heart whatever you know your spouse says to you you know why aren't you XYZ or why do we you know not do well in this area you know or like you said something that offended me or hurt my feelings um, you know do you get defensive do you honestly try to you know look at that and say oh I'm gonna try to do better or yeah you're right you know I do do that let's talk about it because I think we'd all like to think that we are just we handle conflict and issues you know just the way that we're supposed to with grace and oh wow I didn't realize I did that you know what I apologize for that I'm gonna try to do better but that's not always the case it's not always the case because you have emotions and you have feelings and sometimes those emotions and feelings are just raw you know they're just raw there's no other word for it but just like it's just your reaction and sometimes the reaction is in anger or you know in hurt and um so basically my reaction was in like just crying because I, it hurt my feelings, you know, to think that I was not doing something that I, you know, should have been doing and I don't know. I guess I was just wanting to talk about it and let you guys know that I'm not great at conflict resolution. <laughs> I just run from it. Like I just, I just want everything to be like perfect and nice and happy all the time and I don't know when the realization hits that it's not it just crushes me you know like I don't know and we have a great marriage we have a wonderful marriage it's just that it's like normal conflict normal stuff nothing big nothing major just normal marriage stuff you know and marriage is hard work you know it's really hard work and you have to feed and water it and you know contribute to your marriage to make it stay healthy and you have to feed it and make sure that it grows and all of that stuff because if you don't then you know it dries out just like a plant so um, nobody I'm not gonna pretend like you know everything is always perfect because it's not we do have a great marriage but there's always gonna be some bump in the road or some obstacle that we have to you know make it through and um, a pastor that I heard once say you know if you are not in a storm right now you're either getting out of one or getting ready to go into one so there's always going to be something whether it's in your marriage or in your family life or just in your personal life something that you're going to have to overcome and we have to learn how to deal with that type of conflict we have to learn how to deal with the struggles and um, in a healthy way that you know brings you out in the good in the end so that makes you a better person and that you grow and learn from those experiences so um yeah that's it i just wanted a little car confession this morning car confession with christy how about that i just you know things aren't always perfect and um yesterday was a beautiful day we had so much fun at the cookout um, but it just was like a topic that we started talking about and then kind of led to well, how do you feel about that? You know how it goes and then before you know it you're you're into a deep conversation. So um, Yeah Everything is fine though. Don't worry <laughs> It was just one of those things and um, I would love to hear your comments or thoughts or input about how you guys handle conflict in your marriage or how you handle obstacles that you may be going through you know do you bottle it up do you shut down to avoid talking about those things do you respond in anger and defensiveness as i tend to do sometimes if i feel like i'm being attacked you know i immediately get angry and defensive or um you know do you just try to stay calm and look at it from your spouse's perspective and um you know learn and grow from it which is the probably the right answer <laughs> how we should all handle conflict but it's just I know that you guys don't always handle conflict that way and I don't always handle conflict that way so anyways um, yeah I welcome your comments and love to hear what you guys think so um, get ready to be at work so I'll talk to you guys after work tell everybody what just happened Max ran out Yep. Came back in. Did we lose Max?
Yep. How long has he been out? A couple two hours? Two, uh, about two hours. Two hours? Hour and a half. Mom. Say, Matt. We've been looking for him all Mama. day. Mama. 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 Mom. Well, we're, we're been looking for him all day. So Matt, all, all day. So Max got out and they didn't know where he was. So we've been searching for Max since I got home from work, basically. And, um. It's a little bit blurry and something's on top Thank of goodness. He came crawling out from underneath the um, deck. So he has been found. Right, Mason? There is our friend Max. Oh, Max. Don't ever run away again, Max. Don't He's ever like, run away. Me either. <laughs>